I think the FCC, they need to uh, get their act in line. They, they need to uh, start going after the people that are, they're, they're, they're wrong. They're, 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 they have fraud and crime and corruption. They, they, they need to start doing their job. They need to get, hold these people accountable. And it's not fair what's happening to the retired person that they, they can lose their, their entire nest egg just because these people aren't doing their job. And we're, we're paying these people down there and, and, and all they're doing is taking our money. They're not providing anything for us. And it, it's just a crime, what's happening in, 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 with the, in Washington. The interview with Mr. Canella and Mr. Cotts made me feel really angry up front. First of all, we are paying all of our government tax dollars are going to pay uh, all these individuals in the FEC who are obviously not doing their jobs. Integrity and honesty is not important to them. And then to hear him speak and, and really uh, validify what is actually happening, it just makes me really, really angry because these are people that have been elected, uh, people that we've put our faith and trust in, and they're totally letting, they're letting all of us down. Mr. Canelo did an end run and he, and he did well at it. Um, to expose something that had to be exposed. And it's just, a t it's just the very tip of the iceberg at this point, I believe. Um, he's very successful in what he's doing. He has uh, other people behind him helping him, but there's a lot more to be done. And, and it, will b it will come back to this township or this state or this country as to people now opening their eyes and realizing what's going on. You know, Phil, keep going, don't stop. It's important.